Gaming versus creator motherboards. What's the difference? What's up guys, welcome. What's up guys, welcome back to another Giga Geek video. In this video, I'll be talking about the differences between creator motherboards and gaming motherboards. And I'm also gonna be answering some frequently asked questions. Now, let's begin. To establish the motherboards I have here, here is the ASUS ProArt Z690 Creator Wi-Fi. This is the RG Strix B50A Gaming. It's not a complete apples to apples comparison, but my points still generally apply to most motherboards. Now, let's discuss the main difference between these two. It's not VRM, it's not the CPU, it's connectivity. Creators like myself need a lot of storage to hold video files and, and projects and After Effects files, all sorts of stuff. As a video editor myself, I use an absolute crap ton of storage. In like 10 videos, for example, I've used up one terabyte on my hard drive. So that, that might need that I might have to add more, more drives to my system. Creator motherboards can support a lot more drives than gaming motherboards. This one supports up to four NVMe and eight SATA drives. This one, however, supports two NVMe and six SATA drives. So this has a lot more expandability in terms of storage. The ASUS ProArt has six USB 3, 10 gigabit per second ports. That's really fast. You can add a lot of high speed drives here, transferring really fast files. This, however, has a couple USB 3s and a couple USB 2s, which are still good, but they're not as fast. But when you're transferring a lot of files, like a couple, like 10, 20 gigabytes at once, you can really see a difference. Again, this isn't an apples to apples comparison, but most gaming motherboards will not have a USB-C 3.2 Gen 2x2, keep that in mind. This port supports up to 20 gigabit per second, which is completely crazy. You can get these um, NVMe enclosures and you can put your NVMe drive in there and you can get blazing fast speed to this USB-C. This, however, still has a USB 3.0, still great, but not nearly as fast as the USB-C. Now for display output. The ProArt has two DisplayPort inputs, inputs, keep that in mind, an HDMI and two Thunderbolt ports. The B550A Gaming, however, has, I think, it has one display port and one HDMI. Why the Thunderbolts, you may ask? Some creators might need their monitors to have Thunderbolt or their tablets to have Thunderbolt. So the ProArt allows your graphics card to send a signal into the display port input and then output it through the USB, see the um, Thunderbolt, I mean. So this allows monitors that have Thunderbolt to be used in their full capability. Now let's move on to some of the frequently asked questions. Some people ask, will a gaming motherboard give you more performance? Will a creative motherboard give you, give you more performance? There is no difference in performance in 99% of the cases. Some people might tell you that there might be like a, a tiny difference, but as long as the VRM is, is just capable for handling your CPU, you just get a reliable brand with a decent VRM, you should be okay. Second frequently asked question, can you game on a creator motherboard and vice versa? You can game on a creator motherboard, but creating on a gaming motherboard might be a bit difficult depending on what you do. If you're a live video editor, a gaming motherboard is perfectly fine, but if you do some hardcore video editing and need a lot of storage, need, a lot of tra need to transfer a lot of files, a creator motherboard is where you should go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I had a lot of fun researching about this. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll be more than happy to answer. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you next time.